be very cautious about all the agreements you do. I think it's much more important and much better to find partners, reputable partners, who will do a deal with you that makes financial sense. You know, new videos sold a lot more DVDs than I could have sold on my own, I believe. And, you know, if I had sold 2,000 DVDs for 20, I would have maybe made more money than the 10,000 DVDs that they sold in my royalty seven, but they sold, men, but I made more money that, you know, I made less money, but sold more DVDs and maybe ultimately I made the same amount of money, but I, but they handled all the hassle of that huge amount of orders. And so if you can get a, you know, a VOD aggregator, you know, at 15%, maybe 25% to handle all your digital rights and sell all your digital rights and get you into iTunes. You know, if you can do that, that's great, but you just have to be very cautious um, and be very particular about the rights that you give to each entity because all entities will want as many rights as possible and will be clawing for those rights and asking for those rights. And you just have to say no. Like for instance, I just got an offer for domestic cable yesterday and including VOD and even internet VOD. And I, you know, I had to say, you know, for that amount of money, I don't want to give up my VOD rights. Yeah, that's a huge amount of rights and you just have to ask, you know, and usually, and sometimes you might have to fight a little bit, you know, but usually if you ask, you know, or fight, you know, you can retain those rights and you need to, and especially I'd be very cautious about what kind of streaming, because streaming is the one platform that is truly worldwide. And if you're streaming in one country, it affects your streaming rights everywhere. So um, that's something that you definitely will have to exclude and you only have one op exclusive option on streaming and it affects everything so that in your broadcast contracts they'll ask for streaming rights and if you, for instance, our, we have given away our exclusive streaming rights to Babblegum. We didn't give them, we sold them and we got a decent chunk of change for it. But now we have to exclude that from every cable deal that we do because they all want, all the cable and television entities want streaming rights. And so we just have to say, no, those aren't available. And sometimes it's, you know, a fight, but, you know, they just, you know, we just, well, sorry, if you want the film, they're not available.